your 10 years managing the Rockefeller Center must have been a good preparation for becoming architect of the Capitol. How would you compare the two positions and were there any special challenges posed by the Capitol that you weren't prepared for? There are actually many comparable issues uh, from Rockefeller Center to the Capitol. Uh, both facilities have about 15 million square feet of space in their multiple buildings. Uh, both of them had their own police force. Uh, both were major sources of visitation. Really, Capitol buildings are historic landmarks, as was Rockefeller Center. Uh, so we had to deal with very similar issues. Uh, major differences, of course, occurred in the fact that Rockefeller Center Management Corporation is a for-profit organization managing with many tenants in the buildings. Uh, when I got direction from the management, I went off and I performed, reporting back to them as necessary on, on the projects that we were doing and the success or, or the problems that we encountered. A major difference, of course, is here at the Capitol, there are 535 individuals who are involved. We have committees on the House side, committees on the Senate side that we report to, but the reality is every member of Congress can have a say in, in what we do uh, in representing them and trying to achieve the best that we can in quality service so they can do the job that the American public sent them here to do. So the challenge of trying to work with two diverse bodies and 535 individuals is quite different from Rockefeller Center and from anything any architect I think has experienced anywhere in the country. Uh, we would have experiences where the Senate would approve something and it would take nine months later before the House would approve it. So a project would be delayed, uh, costs would go up, uh, deadlines would, be ha would have to be changed. Uh, so very significant differences in that respect. 